Hey everyone, Elska McCain here. Tonight I am bringing you the 1968 classic, Night of the Living Dead. Not to be confused with the 1990 remake starring my good friend, Bill Mosley. This is the feature film debut of the legendary George A. Romero, and not only that, but it is the first feature to graphically depict violent murders on screen. In this movie, the dead actually come back to life and attempt to eat the living in this black and white horror masterpiece. Several people barricade themselves inside this farmhouse in an attempt to survive the night. Hey, hey, I'm up here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Outside the house are hordes of relentless zombies who can only be killed with a blow to the head. One fact about this movie that I really love was that when the zombies were eating the bodies in the burnt out truck, they were actually eating roast ham covered in chocolate sauce. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds pretty gross. And I have a feeling it did not take very many makeup touch-ups to make those zombies look pale and sickly. Especially if they're vegetarians like me. That's disgusting. Yuck. I really hope they got paid extra for that. It also turns out that some of the groans and screams in the film were actually legit. During that scene in the cemetery where the guys are wrestling, the actor Bill Hinsman actually got kneed in the nuts. Keep an eye out for that action. Now, back when the film was originally released, Reader's Digest tried to warn people by claiming if it is ever watched, it will inspire cannibalism. <laughs> well, unless your name is Jeffrey Dahmer, I have a feeling that it did not inspire cannibalism. Although, it definitely inspired like over 9,000 cannibal movies since then. In fact, I think I might be shooting one next week. Thankfully, their public service announcement turned out to be incorrect, and as a result, no humans have been eaten because of this film. However, as a publicity stunt, the distributors of the film claimed to have a $50,000 insurance policy covering anyone that might die of a heart attack while watching the film. Without further ado, Let's take a look at one of the most influential, successful, independent horror films of all time. Enjoy!